if you want to learn about data privacy if you want to learn about personal data if you want to learn the importance of privacy for individuals if you want to learn about the importance of privacy for organizations then you have come to the right place guys today in this video we will be discussing all the aspects so let us try to understand first of all what is personal data what is personal data all about okay and you must be thinking why we are starting from personal data however the video states about data privacy there is a direct correlation and we'll come to that guys so <coughs> first of all let us try to understand what is personal data any information that belongs to any individual and can help to identify that particular individual is known as personal data okay any information that belongs to an individual and can be helpful in order to identify that particular individual either directly or indirectly is personal data for example you can see on the screen name email address date of birth physical location where do you live ip address all these things are personal data guys now what is data privacy and what is the link of data privacy with personal data let us see so when we talk about data privacy yeah so when we talk about data privacy it's about giving control and consent of your data collection as well as processing to a third party i will repeat what is data privacy guys giving control and consent regarding collection and processing of your personal data is data privacy what does this mean now it means that you are giving consent <coughs> you are giving control of your personal data to a third party why so that they can collect your data and process your data okay that is what we call as data privacy as simple as that now what is the importance of privacy for an individual that is the first question that comes to the mind so i'll take an example here for example if you are commuting to a place and you are in your car and you are driving for the last 2 hours would you like somebody to keep an eye on you while you are driving your car would you like somebody to keep a spy on you and now you have taken a halt at a restaurant in order to eat something would you like somebody to keep an eye on you while you are eating something would you like somebody to watch you during all these activities the answer is no human beings as individuals we like to enjoy our privacy we do not want anybody to keep watching us all the time right that is why privacy is important for us individuals guys very simple to understand i think this example will always stay with you and now coming to the next part what is the importance of privacy for organizations for example if there is an organization there would be similar case there as well the answer is yes so what are the important factors over there in an organization the number one is market reputation they have to maintain their market reputation in terms of keeping the privacy data safe and they have to second have the trust of their clients in order to ensure that they keep their privacy data safe and third is regulatory obligations for example i think most of you over here must have heard about gdpr it talks about privacy data only okay so this is why privacy is important for organizations as well okay so now after that let us understand the principles of data privacy <coughs> what are the different principles of data privacy guys 
the number one principle of data privacy is transparency openness which means providing information related to purpose of collection why you are collecting the data transparency you have to be open you have to inform why you are collecting the data you have to inform provide information on handling of personal data you have to inform why you are handling the personal data you have to inform you have to disclose you have to provide your retention duration for how long will you keep the data all this comes under transparency the other principle of data privacy is limitation now what is limitation guys limitation means do not over collect and over use over collection and over using of data is limitation do not collect which is not necessary in terms of personal data when we are talking about collection and also limit the holding period of the personal data that is what comes under limitation okay and the third thing that comes under limitation is when we talk about overusing it only use it for the purpose for which you have disclosed and do not use it for any other intended purpose other than the original one guys this is very important the third one is quality you have to maintain the data life cycle okay from collection data collection to data destruction you have to make sure you have appropriate procedures in place in order to uh, make sure that it is done timely and the fourth principle of data privacy is security ensuring the cia confidentiality integrity and availability and keeping the data secure having appropriate security incident handling processes in place and what is the fifth principle guys proportionality be fair is it is the data that you are asking for and collecting is it really required for processing can the processing be done with any other method where you do not need this information and can the processing be done in any other way where you do not need the personal data at all all these are principles of data privacy now after understanding these principles which i have elaborated here if you will go forward and read about data privacy anywhere even in gdpr or even in any other standard guys you will find it very much easy trust me because now you understand the basic principles if you have not still understood i would highly request you to please watch this video once again and keep a pen and paper handy and make sure you write down whatever principles that i have told you and again in case if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section thank you so much for watching i think this video will be really helpful for you thank you take